I want to do a talk on permaculture and what it means to me and what it could mean to you. This is my home and I got to thank my wife. She built this. Now, it's not the home I would have built. I would have built things very differently. For example, I would have put in composting toilets instead of power toilets, right? Dry composting toilets. And I would have put in a system where we could use this bath water and everything else in our garden. And ultimately, at the time when we built the house, my wife and I were on the verge of a divorce. And basically this became her project, building it the way she wants. And, um, you know, I would have put piping to warm up the water or chill the water throughout the highest. So we actually would move the water around the house um, before it came out. Things like that. Uh, solar plant panels we were supposed to get, but it got nixed. But regardless, regardless, okay, so... You don't have the perfect house. Most people won't have the perfect permaculture house. Permaculture basically means permanent agriculture or permanent culture, right? So permanent. What it means is being basically being sustainable for number one. There's three ethics to permaculture. Now, I've slightly modified them because I don't agree with the way they're structured to simply mean help the planet, its life, and share. If you can just, it's really simple to remember. Help the planet, its life, and share. So, helping the planet ultimately is being sustainable. So, here is some examples of things that you could do in your permaculture home. I save all manners of bottles and stuff. I'm starting to save these bottles. I um, make um, herb water from the herbs I grow, and I'm going to do a talk on my on my on my um, uh, farm. My, my budding farm, it's only, you know, I started this year, really first grow season. Um, but I have all sorts of containers and wine bottles and everything else. You know, for example, here's a good example. Uh, I don't have the ketchup bottle. You can't get glass ketchup bottles anymore. So I had someone say, wow, you can still get glass ketchup bottles. I know that in the future, the only ketchup bottle we're going to get is this nasty plastic. So glass, this is, we have options. We can get glass or plastic, but here's the cheap plastic one. Everything is going to become plastic. Um, and we're going to see less and less glass. So I fortunately save all of that. Second thing is, you know, the, one of the biggest problems I had instead of my farm is seeds, seeds, seeds. Seeds are expensive. You know, a little packet of tomato seeds, you're spending three, four dollars in Japan, right? So, I collect so many seeds. Here are some seeds. Let me show you the seeds that I'm, I have here. So these are some, I just had tomatoes and I have small tomato, medium tomatoes in there now. I have them soaked for a while. And if you know about tomatoes, you'll know about that. You'll have to soak them to break down the, basically the barrier. Um, I also have containers up here. And here is, this is a watermelon, just one watermelon, right? One, not watermelon, one melon, okay? And I think I have some, a, a, a part slice of melon, and I'll be planting these. I don't know if you can see these. I have it up here. Yeah, so these containers, all this is my seed bank, right? And you can see this is all, I think this is strawberries. This is all strawberries in here. Yeah, these are strawberries, all strawberries. From different strawberries and different times, different kinds um, that I put in here. And I actually have a label in here, large strawberry, right? So... Um, the other thing is, one of the cool things that I discovered is in Japan, you have these little bags, right, for uh, catching the trash. And I'll get to that next. Um, rectangle, semi, semicircle, oval, fits various shapes. So these make, they're cheap and they make great um, bags. They're, the, the mesh is small enough that the smallest seeds, it'll catch the smallest seeds. Here's one right here, open. So it's a really, really useful, and I use these for everything from draining cheeses and everything else. And that brings me, other thing is, one thing you, you should be doing is basically uh, grabbing um, all your trash. So if I move this part, basically right here, what I'm doing is soaking this wine bottle and getting another bottle out of the deal. So here is my 
my trash garbage, and that's all worm food. So that will go into my little composter, a little bag here. Now this will go, basically, I hate the iPad, it's hard to hold, but if I can hold this up here, can you see? I don't know if you can see or not, but here is all my, you know, everything from my wife's hair, from the drainage sink to all this stuff, all this is going to go to the farm. So, um, you know, being, be, permaculture to me is about tr using everything you can and reusing it, right? And um, basically getting off the grid as much as you can. The grid is basically the system. We are, you know, we are weaned onto a system of being, being unable to provide for ourselves. Now, ultimately, I'll talk about other things that I will end up doing. I've got, I'm growing a lot of herbs and things. The whole purpose, I'm going to make my own detergent. So right now, we buy detergent, but we will not buy detergent in the future. And the other thing, too, is this, once this shampoo comes, gets out, used, this is going to be a container for shampoo that I make, soap that I make. You know, everything that I... Um, you know, everything that I can do to basically do for myself is about permaculture, right? It's not just agriculture. The, um, I make my own cheese. I'm, oh, I make my own yogurt. Let me talk about that. So the bathtub in here is an incubator for making yogurt. It has a nice little top. The water is 40 degrees. It's perfect. And last night I made yogurt. And here is, and you can see I make yogurt basically in other people's milk. So I'm always trying different varieties of milk. There's literally hundreds of varieties of milk in Japan. One of the cool things about Japan. Lots of different types. And um, this is basically an old milk carton. And now this is both milk. My milk that I drink from comes from Oketa Farm. This is um, basically syrup that I made. This is uh, basically wisteria or Fuji syrup, um, and you'll see more of that up there. So here's whey from making cheese. I have whey. Here's some whey. I use whey in cooking and making rice and lots of different things. I use whey. It's basically high protein, and one of the benefits of making cheese is you end up with this whey, which is great if you want to lose weight and if you want to get high protein in your diet. So. Permaculture to me is, a, is basically adjusting your life to be more sustainable. As we go upstairs here, our house is also a business. So I'm sorry I haven't cleaned up. My rooms are a little messy. But here is an adult teaching and also an education room for my kids. This is their classroom. We do painting and other things, homeschooling. They get their own computer there, some weights for me to work out on. Um, ultimately, this is a classroom. And... Um, here is a kid's classroom for the younger kids out here. Mikey's been making a mess of the room. So using our homes for actually spaces of work. Here's my office. I sit on the floor and I have my own fridge in here. My wife wanted me to get rid of this fridge and I just wouldn't. I said, screw her, fuck off. And in here is nice milk. And this is where I'll have my herb water. I'm gonna store all my fruits and vegetables in here, my cans, my bottles. So right now it's pretty much empty. Here's cheese. Let me turn the light on. So here's a, you know, here's a over a kilo of cheese that I made. It's a soft cheese, and um, I'm just letting it sit. I probably should take off the wrapping and let it sit. I'm kind of a novice at cheese making, but it's in there in my vegetable cooler and my ice. Here's patties for 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 bees. I've made sugar patties, that's for them to eat during the winter, and that's from last year. So, permaculture isn't just about agriculture, it's about living a sustainable life, and um, always thinking, can I replace this need, can I play, replace this with something that I could do myself? So good luck in your permaculture life, and your permaculture activities, and um, remember, permaculture ultimately is what you want to make of it. The guidelines, 
are exactly that. If you read the permaculture books, they're guidelines. They, permaculture is, is relatively new. Uh, the ideas are very new. You know, 40 years old is, in, is extremely young for a paradigm. And most paradigms take about 40 years just to become early adapted. So, good luck.